Welcome to the Windows API exploitation recipes for red and blue teams. Now in the last two videos, we've looked at how to go ahead and access a process's memory and read uh, you know, information from it. In this video, we will complement that with learning how to write to another process's memory. Now, as you can imagine, this is uh, going to allow you to do all sort of things, which is change runtime information. Uh, and once you can change runtime information, well, you can make the process behave in arbitrary ways, right? You could even do things like runtime patching and whatnot. So let's get started. So just like reading processes, writing processes also requires privileges. Uh, the best thing to do is just to get debug privileges so that you can, you can pretty much go ahead and do anything with the process. Uh, the API which we will use is the write process memory API. Now this is similar to the read process memory. The only difference is that uh, we are going to be now passing the buffer which we want written and the address where we would want to begin writing our buffer into. So let's jump right in. I'm going to be using the same victim read write memory example. So the victim basically creates a string and the string just says I am secure and the victim waits uh, in this time for the writer to write something to it. So here it is. Uh, I already have it pre-compiled so I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. And there we go, right? Just like in the previous videos. Now let's also go ahead and look at the actual attacker writing program. So let's open that up. Okay, let's go and have a look at how the program works. Now, the first thing is try to see if we can acquire, uh, you know, debug privileges. And then uh, we first want to go ahead and read that specific memory location from the process we are targeting to see what is written in there, okay? So I'm going to be using the tool help 32 read process memory API to read that location first. So what we should find is the string I am secure in there. Now, once we do that, we are going to be opening the process up with process VM write and process VM operation so that we can now write to the virtual memory. Once we do that, we call write process memory, pass it the handle of the victim process, followed by the address where we want to write something to, and then what we want that to be replaced with the new message followed by the length of that. So the new message, which we are going to replace, uh, is going to be, you are not alone. So we are going to overwrite this string. I am secure with uh, a very aptly designed, you are not alone. <laughs> so the process knows that, you know, anyone else can snoop in and modify data structures and data within it. So let's go ahead, build the solution. Okay, uh, let's start a command prompt. Looks like I'm out of the VM. And let's change directory to where the compile program is.
And now let's actually go ahead and run it. So I'm going to call attacker read write memory and give it the arguments 5924 followed by this address. So we have 5924 followed by this address. And if you notice, it, it says that it has successfully overwritten uh, with the word I am secure. So if I were to hit enter again, if you notice, we seem to have overwritten the message I am secure with you are not alone, right? Fantastic. So this clearly shows how easy it is to write into another process's memory. Now in this example, of course, I'm running as the same user that is really convenient. <laughs> Uh, so let's actually pick up an example where we are trying to write to another process, another user's process. So I'm going to copy the attacker read write memory, place this in C drive. Uh, let me delete the one which I created for the last video. Okay, so I've placed this in C drive. Before I switch to the other user, let me go ahead and launch the vulnerable program. So here you go, I've run it. Let me copy this out into notepad. Now, once I've done that, let me keep this running and let me switch over and become John. Okay, let's log in as John. Now first let's try to go ahead and modify the process as John uh, without going ahead and escalating our privileges. So I'm just going to open up a command prompt, change directory over to C drive, Let's actually figure out the arguments we need. Which is 5156 followed by the address. And if you notice, well, even read process memory itself was denied, forget writing. So let's go ahead, get a privilege prompt. So now we are running as admin, change over to C drive, put in the PID and the address. And if you notice, now we succeed as expected and it says it has overwritten I am secure uh, successfully. So let's actually switch back to the other user's context, the victim Vivek. So let's go ahead, switch back to Vivek and see what happened. Great to be the victim for a change. Okay. So if I were to hit enter, then we would inspect that message location once again. And there you are, I am secure, seems to have replaced with, you are not alone. There you go. So as you can clearly see uh, that this is really as simple as it gets in order to access another process's memory and write to it. The key thing of course is you need the right privileges so that you can open up the process with the VM write access rights. Uh, of course in this concocted example and in the previous ones we, we knew the address of where we want to do the writes, right? Uh, if you wanted to do more useful stuff, you may even have to search for byte patterns. So let's say you are looking at Chrome's memory and you are searching for a password which may have been entered. So you would probably want to find, uh, you know, the form and figure out, you know, certain phrases which appear around the password in some way and then search for them and then dump the password after that. So. 
really all this is providing you is is a, the way to do it from this point you would have to analyze the victim process a priori uh, know what kind of interesting information you can find in there and then dump it right of course you can even create a full process dumper using a similar strategy uh, and which might allow you to look at what all is there inside the running process right fantastic So this is all I had in mind for this video. If you are enjoying your time at Pentester Academy, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.